Ah, uh, yes, summertime in Australia. Heaps of flies, wasps and bees. Long, long, hot days. Very hot. Really, really hot. Even the coat of arms turns to rust. The old emu sits next to the kangaroo and they don't know what to do. As long as they're uh, in the shade, they'll survive. But we've got the good old Aussie Barbie. Got to make a stand. Let's do it. Yeah, g'day. Uh, welcome to Sumo's Projects. And uh, this particular video is part of the uh, hashtag Summer Builds 21, which is uh, something a good fella from Down Under Woodworks, Victor, has uh, put out as a challenge to all video makers. And uh, I believe it's a really good opportunity to have a bit of fun with our projects. So as for me, I've recently bought myself uh, a brand new barbecue. And um, it, it's sort of a... A small one, a jumbuck, and um, so I'm making a stand for it. First thing I did, it was cut a beautiful little bit of oak down, and um, now I'm shaping it into something uh, of a, a base that's going to hold the barbecue. Now this this bit of oak was given to me by a person in my township. Uh, and I did put a post on Instagram saying, if most people know that you're a woodworker, um, they might buy something off you, but surely enough, they'll keep a bit of timber aside and they know you're going to utilize it. So um, yeah, always be open-minded for that opportunity. Anyway, I'm using, uh, I actually found some offcuts at uh, my hardware store and they were going for a dollar uh, for about a meter. And um, so I'm using these to make the legs of the base uh, that's going to be the support stand of this particular build. So once again, it's it's very much the same process on most projects you do. You, you tend to go to the machines that you uh, find the easiest to use to be able to uh, shape and you know make the parts that you need for the particular build you're working on. Anyway, it's. Um, here I cut these uh, legs to a six degree uh, offset because that's good enough to give me a little bit of a, you know, sort of a, a better stand uh, where things, the, the legs will be sp splayed a little bit. Uh, I, did, I have to mention this, this particular build is actually, uh, it's a foldable uh, setup uh, stand for the barbecue. So yeah, quite interesting. Now yeah, off to Sandy. Probably sometimes I'm a, I'm a defeatist of looking for maybe putting a dowel in or something, but uh, sometimes time restraints can go up against you too because um, you want to get a build finished. So, finished and um, using pocket hole screws. I used an ivory gloss paint which I thought was probably the closest to the lid uh, of the barbecue. And now applying a hard wax oil which I have fallen in love with as far as finishes go. I uh, thoroughly recommend them. As far as an approximation, it's about a 24 hour cure period uh, for hard wax oils because um, yeah, they need to go through the process of drying out. So I've got some butt hinges here and uh, I'm putting these onto the uh, the top top part of the leg and then doing the joinery and joining this to the base the uh, actual top which is going to be uh, part of the part that holds the barbecue and then this part here is going to fold away and as you can see uh, become a portable item. I based this type of uh, foldable item on uh, another build I did, uh, I think the first video I put out this year, where I made uh, a wine type holder for um, a client. And um, 
I had a look at some other different options, but I thought, no, I, I did tend to enjoy how this went and uh, just it was very practical. So this is the under part. This is going to be the shelf. Which it'll go across the, uh, the joinery of the legs. And uh, I'm going to put some type of uh, cleat on at the bottom, which will hold the splay open on the legs of the base. So it's about this time of the build. I, I don't ask people to subscribe unless you think my video is worthy of a subscription and then I do appreciate that if you do subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also I'd like to put out a big thank you to Victor from Down Under Woodworks for putting on this challenge. It's been a lot of fun and these challenge videos, doesn't matter who puts them on, are fantastic to be part of. And all the other makers who are participating in this, good on you and uh, let's have a, a, a few more of these this year. All right, so just putting on these, these are the little cleats, if you want to call on them. They'll spread the legs out and uh, things are looking all right at this stage. Nearly finished and getting a bit of an appetite going. There we go, we're now in a chicken dinner, <laughs> hopefully. So, until next time, people, have a, have a good uh, time making stuff and uh, I'll say hooroo.